Uh, I want to ask you um, what uh, that part of the film with the cat, uh, fish, and the woman uh, has to do with the rest of the film. <laughs> uh, good question. For me, for me, it was the um, that section is a reference, a tribute to the old old style t television called royal royal costume drama, and always about a royal princess in love and and uh, with animal that can talk. So, uh, but for me, uh, I, I put a little further of my idea of the intercourse uh, between the two because um, it shows that she's not, the princess doesn't really feel happy about herself, her look, her look. So she, she sacrificed, uh, you know, for the fish, for the water, uh, she wants to transform. She wants to change, and 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 I think who knows? You know, her baby can be a hybrid, something hybrid life form. And actually, we have we have in the DVD. You have to buy a DVD. <laughs> there's a there's a, a bonus that, that we deleted scene of the the princess giving birth. <laughs> but again, we just uh, <laughs> like, like that. Uh, but yeah, it, just to suggest the idea of uh, merging with nature and to change, um, like like Bun Song, the the Bunmi's son, he 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 doesn't feel uh, belong to the place, so he escaped into the jungle and change, transform himself into a monkey, into an animal, a hybrid one. So it's the same idea of uh, the spaceship also in the village of escaping and change. Yeah, I, I also wanted to ask um, about the humor in the film because I feel there's like a huge extent of, I mean, like really a lot of uh, humor in the, I don't know, in the shots, in like the framing and uh, I don't know, in, uh, in the lengths maybe sometimes even like, do you feel that, uh, is it like uh, the conscious uh, thing to, to have this kind of a uh, humorous, I don't know, like uh, for me even, you know, like the funeral, had this kind of a humorous feeling also, even though it, it was a funeral, so mm. I don't, do you kind of work that consciously, or uh, is it something that it's kind of just mm. thing you feel? Um, for the funeral, I, I wasn't conscious because it was normal in Thailand to have this uh, kind of Christmas-like <laughs> sort of mood, but for for the the dinner dinner, uh, dinner scene, yes, I, I feel because the acting is so different, and also the way we shot is, is very old style, and the deliverer of dialogue is very stiff, it's very entirely you know right away, and it's very innocent. So for me, it's just a mixture of uh, humor and sadness, you know, in the way that uh, when looking from now, it's it's really old fashioned. And you feel like, uh, you know, oh, these people. It's like trapped in time, or you know, so naive. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I feel sad because of you know of the realization that you know oh, this this is disappearing. And, yeah. Um, hello. Uh, how difficult was it for you to present this uh, the uncle Bunmi before it was shot? I mean, your idea about it, presenting to directors, to, excuse me, to producers. Ah, okay. Because we can talk about this film after we viewed it. We should, you should really watched it. But uh, before, mm. because it has so many complex uh, things, it's easy for me to experience it. But when you talk about it, maybe it's difficult. Well, in the script, I, I I was quite elaborate of the feelings. So I put a lot in the script of what this feeling like, the sadness, and it's not normal for script writing. Usually, you shouldn't put uh, feelings into, but to help the producer and you know even the the kind of 
lighting and you know and 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 it's quite narrative in, in this film and to to actually the princess scene is more more narrative we cut a lot out um, so when the producer read read that they you know the reaction say oh this is very commercial film <laughs> in fact yeah so but I I don't know uh, so I, but but I also have a struggle when shooting of I I'm not sure what I was doing in the beginning you know because it's not my style of this medium and this reaction shot it's very classical style um, so I call the guy and call producer and say mm, I don't know what I'm doing. But at the same time, you know, gradually, you know, through the talking with him, his communication, that, oh, now I know it's about this. And so with the script, it's the first thing, and then uh, get the, communicate through the shooting. It, it really helped the producer to understand, and actually part of the, it's part of the working process that I, I've been done uh, for all the films that um, we use the same producer from the beginning. scene it's like uh, there's like two parts um, and there's a night between um, the first part there's the the woman and the second part there's the son and in the last shot of the first part there's a I think it's um, I don't know the name but it's, it's the actor that always appears in your movies okay, that he, he's he's watching like uh, boom me and then um, turns around and smiles <laughs> and that's very funny and it's, it's very strange this this shot did, did you shot it to put in this particular um, place or it was like a editing decision um, it was the mix because I, 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 I think I might I can use I could use later but I didn't know where so I put him asking to smile um, many times <laughs> but, but then I found the place that he it was, yeah, I don't know the, the, the reason, but, but, but somehow I think Sakda is the, the most uh, non-logical actor, in, you know, you just put him there for, for the sake of, let's say, just cooking for Uncle <laughs> with me, but he, he, you don't know the relationship between him and Jenjira, and he's there for what, uh, you know, not explained, so he's more like my extension witness of the whole thing you know? so I mean sometimes you know so I made him make many expressions yeah. thank you thank you so much